Now this is something I normally wouldn't worry about, but uh, vacuum cleaners obviously aren't a mega awesome topic, but that was until I picked this up. This is a Sauber Excellence. Now, it's actually not gold plated even though the price said it was close. This uh, vacuum just picked up for about $2,800 Australian. All the controls are integrated on the uh, handpiece. I've got the optional extra of a high clone separator. It's got a power head with multiple stage settings. Amazing woven hose. Uh, a five year warranty. And a massive design life. It's, yeah, it's designed to last years and years and years. I don't know, we'll turn it on. When you first turn it on, it goes straight into auto mode, which detects what suction it needs and ups it and downs it to, to suit. I don't really need that. You don't really need to touch any of the buttons on the actual machine. Because, right up here, you have everything you need. You can rev it up. And you can turn it down. You can turn on the power head. Now, when I started the video, that was completely empty. Look at all that fine sand and dust whizzing around in there. That's just sitting there at uh, uh, minimum speed setting. With the power head off. That's just, let's pick that up in not even pushing the head a metre. That's stuff our old vacuum cleaner was leaving behind. It's an extremely capable machine. It's the best one I had in the shop, and I can already see why. Before making this video, I pushed it around for about five minutes and filled this cup up to its little fill line here and tipped it out, and it was full of uh, hair, like pet hair, and uh, sandy looking stuff like this. Just fine dirt and grit, obviously, off the shoes and that, you know. Uh, this has what they class hospital grade filtration, multi-stage filters all the way through the machine. Turn it off, simply hold the power button in there. Let's have a look at the machine itself. Easy to pull the hose straight out like that. The hose is tapered from small to big all the way along so to prevent blockages. Open up the first case, we've got a filter bag with nothing in it because the high clone stops it all first. Below that, HEPA filter with charcoal. Canister thing on the back, which is meant to eliminate odours and everything. The lady in the shop didn't want to sell me the, uh, the high clone tube on there. I believe only because of the changes the um, ergonomics of the handpiece a little bit. It doesn't worry me. I don't think it's going to worry my missus. Uh, she's used to a heavier, older style one, so it's not going to matter. This even gives you a diagram of how the filters are all meant to go back in there. Let me shut that one. The third one's underneath. That's the exhaust filter. And that's where it comes out the back of the motor. I was a bit skeptical of its power, as it's only a 1200 watt vacuum cleaner. I didn't think that was 
all that powerful. Its suction is just ridiculous. Um, numerous health awards and allergy awards. It rolls around and follows you beautiful. Great little wheels. Like I said, it's got a five year warranty. And uh, part of that comes a 10 year service plan and they'll service this actual unit for 10 years for me. Annual servicing for 10 years. It's got a blower port. So you can just plug the nozzle in there and you can, I don't know, blow leaves or dust out the door or something, I don't know. I don't know why you bother. You can just suck anything you want up with it, basically. That's how quiet it is on minimum. I'm just talking in a nice normal voice and it's near silent. It'd be interesting to get some actual CFM figures of airflow, but yeah. I'm extremely happy with it. They come with a handful of, a handful of accessories, a nice uh, upholstery brush, uh, a horsehair uh, brush for cars and interiors and hard surfaces, delicate surfaces, tiles, you know, that kind of stuff. And a cobwebbing brush that's got suction ports in it. Overall, extremely happy with it. Thanks for watching.